Bit, you know it's never good when Chief Meteorologist Matt Safino joins us on the story. It means there is weather coming. Matt? <laughs> Why do I always get that introduction when I enter a room? It's never good when Matt shows up. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but you're right. We've been talking about snow since last week, and we're still talking about it. The timeline hasn't really changed. The question is, why is this not the classic Portland snow setup. I've been talking about it on our other newscast, and I'll explain why that is the case by showing you what the classic Portland snow setup is. Normally, when we're talking snow, like a good widespread snow or even ice storm, like we had last Valentine's Day, remember that? We have cold air in place. We've had east wind come out of the gorge, overtake the valley, maybe even overtake the coast. And so you've got the setup of deep cold air. And then to get a storm sneaking up, usually onto the central coast, that's the best setup for Portland snow. And that sends Pacific moisture riding in over the top. It's cold enough right on through the entire column of the air mass. So it's all just snow in the valley. Maybe the coast is rain, like the central and southern coast, but everybody else just gets snow. That's the classic setup because it ensures that we're cold enough for the precipitation to be snow and not rain. This is not that. We've got strong onshore flow. There is no east wind. There is no Arctic air. So why are we still talking about snow? Because the air coming in from the north and west is really darn cold anyway. Now, the, the modifying factor here is this big thing out here we call the Pacific Ocean. It's relatively warm. The water there is 50 degrees-ish all year long. And so that modifies the lowest, uh, the air that is in contact with it, the lowest elevation air. And that's why our climate in general is so mild here west of the Cascades because of that moderating influence of the Pacific Ocean. But occasionally we'll get an air mass dropping on down from the north and from the west that has Arctic origins like way up in Alaska. It's gotten a little bit warmer because it's been living over the ocean. But it's cold and that's what we have right now and so the temperatures are cold enough and getting cold enough to support snow all the way down to the valley floor even though there is no east wind now right now it's just snow showers but we'll see a more steady band of precipitation come in it's up around the Haida Gwaii formerly known as the Queen Charlotte Islands that's dropping in after midnight tonight and that's what's going to bring us our best chance for seeing steady snow but already look at this we're dropping down into the 30s and it's not clear out I mean, we will get in the 30s in the winter often but usually when we do that we have a clear sky or a east wind that is not the case tonight at least not a completely clear sky and the temperatures will continue to plummet as we go into the overnight hour so we are looking for that band of snow to roll on in after about well about midnight or so i'm showing you timberline right now even though it's really grainy because it's 19 degrees there's been at least eight inches of new snow up there and boy is it ever cold up a lot look at these temperatures up on mount hood 16 at the top of the mile it's already down to 26 at govey 19 at timberline so that's an indication of that moderating influence of the pacific ocean at the lowest elevations of our air mass up above that it's almost arctic even though it's coming from the west and northwest our air mass is all right our snowfall looks like about an inch for the portland area give or take and so some places may only see a dusting and a few flakes other places may see as much as say two inches of snow for the valley floor but elevation is key when we have these onshore flow snow events like we do right now once you get above about 500 feet you get away from that warmer air that's been warmed and modified by the Pacific Ocean, and so you get more snow. One to three inches above 500 feet, that's basically halfway up the West Hills and then to the top. And then, of course, you go above that, and it's all snow. It's going to be a big-time powder day. Somebody, uh, Pat, in, in Twitter, my Twitter feed said that tomorrow is... What do they put it? Valentine Day or Powentine. <laughs> That's what it was, Powentine Day, because there are going to be a lot of great skiing on Mount Hood. 